Hi, I am Nick and in this video I'm going to test this T12 digital soldering station that I got from Banggood for 49 bucks but you can get it with 15% discount if you use the coupon code you will find in the description. Let's have a closer look. Good quality aluminium case. Nice and clean work. On the front side we can see the heater plug, the display and the rotary encoder. On the back side is the on-off switch, the inline fuse, and uh, the AC socket. This is the T12 handpiece that comes with the station. And this is a K-shape T12 tip. These are the three items that you will get if you buy this station. Now let's have a look inside. This is the power board and here you see a secondary fuse, the capacitor, the choke, the diodes, the power filter cab, this is the transformer and nice heat sinks. This is a battery, a CR2032 battery that provides power to the controller for remembering time and date. And this is the secondary circuit that gives us 26 volts and about 5 or 6 amps and this means that it provides enough power to the T12 tips to work at full capacity and this is 70 watts. I've seen other digital stations and the power supply, the power transformer was very weak and the tip worked at about 50 watts and this is a very good transformer very good power board very good quality and powerful this is the T12 digital controller latest design with the new 2.1 software version now let's find out how accurate the station is I'm going to place this temperature sensor on the tip and see the temperature difference between the tip and the station I have set the temperature at 300 degrees when I tested my old soldering station, I had about 15 degrees Celsius difference. Let's see how this one performs. The multimeter shows 304 degrees and I am really impressed. For 49 bucks, I did not expect such precision. Now I'm going to try and solder these pins on this PCB. I think it's going to be easy. Oh, 
I have set the temperature to 325 degrees. That was easy. Now I'm going to try something more difficult. The station is set to 350 degrees and I'm going to try to reflow this through hole ground pads. Nice and easy wetting. Now I'm going to test the 21 mm wide tip that I use for PGA rework repairs. I have set the station to 325 degrees. This is the hardest test for a soldering station. Let's see. If the station can pass this test. Very good performance. With my old soldering station I had to preheat the board first and then start to work on the ball grid array. But this station can easily manage it. Very good performance. I'm really impressed with this station and I can recommend it to the hobbyists and pros. This station will not let you down. Do not forget to use the coupon code and save money. See you next time.